Under these agreements, the NBN Co will progressively take over the ownership of many parts of Telstra's copper and HFC networks, that's the HFC pay TV cable networks, uh, and they will use this infrastructure at no additional cost to taxpayers, at no additional cost to the NBN Co to complete the project much sooner and at a very significant cost uh, difference to that which would have been the case had we continued with the all fibre to the premises approach taken by the previous government. We estimate the saving is at least $30 billion. And that was estimated in the strategic review done in December last year. Now, Telstra shareholders, as we said in our policy document, have been kept whole. David Thody uh, obviously can talk, we'll talk about that when I introduce him in a moment. So these important assets are being acquired by the NBN Co without any additional payment to Telstra, but equally Telstra shareholders are not any worse off because they were already being paid uh, many billions of dollars to decommission their copper and HFC networks, to render them valueless. Uh, and the previous government, for reasons best known to themselves, in entering into those agreements, did not take any option to acquire those legacy assets. So they paid Telstra billions of dollars to switch off its copper and switch off its hybrid fibre coax, but never reserved the right to use any part of those legacy assets. Now, the mix of technologies that the NBN Co will use are the leading cutting-edge technologies and techniques being used by the leading telcos around the world. They will ensure that all Australians have access to very fast broadband much sooner and at much less cost and much more affordably. This is a very important transaction, a very, very important deal. In many respects, it makes the, end, the construction of the NBN possible. The time frame that it would have taken to complete it under the old model and the cost was so great that one could be very doubtful whether, regardless of the complexion of the government presiding, it would ever have been completed at all. And it is, this is, should be seen as a win-win, a win for the taxpayer, a win for the consumers, a win for NBN Co and a win for Telstra shareholders because she Telstra shareholders are being kept whole, as I said, and the project will be completed much sooner and at much less cost. And that is going to be better for consumers, better for the customers of NBN Co, which of course are the retail service providers, uh, the largest of which is, is obviously Telstra. Uh, so this is, a, this is a great step forward in delivering on the NBN. And I say it is, it is a, a key part of the government's business-like approach to sorting out the messes that we inherited from the Labor Party. This, the, the National Broadband Network, as you know, uh, was conceived by the Labor Party in only 11 weeks. Uh, no cost-benefit analysis. So a lot of money has been wasted. Many billions of dollars have been wasted that we cannot recover. But Rather than trying to live our life backwards, we've sorting out the, the problems that Labor left us with. We have new management at NBN Co, headed by Bill Morrow, a new board, and now new arrangements that will ensure that we are able to complete the network much sooner and at much less cost. But can I say this about the NBN and about broadband generally? We've had a big debate in Australia for a long time about the access technology. Is it fibre to the premises? Is it fibre to the node? Is it wireless? Is it satellite? You know, what, what is the right mix and the right combination? What this agreement does is ensure that NBN Co's management have the flexibility to choose the right access technology in every particular circumstance. In other words, to make a rational, business-like decision, which is, of course, how projects like this should be built. And in 2015, what the government wants to be focused on, above all, is how we are going to use the internet. We are determined that Australia, to be competitive and successful in this converging world, 
has to be smarter, more competitive, more productive, more innovative. In other words, it has to use these digital platforms to be so much smarter because the internet and the global markets it opens us opens up for all of us not only offers more competition but vastly greater opportunities. But you have to be fast, you have to be innovative, you have to be agile to take advantage of it. Now the government obviously has a very important role to play in promoting innovation. One way of doing that is to ensure that the NBN Co is built cost effectively and therefore is affordable, not just for taxpayers but for customers. If we'd gone ahead with Labor's approach, uh, we, we estimate that the, in order to get a recovery, a rec to recover the investment that Labor would have made, because it would have been so much bigger, uh, average internet costs would have been up to 80% higher. Imagine what that does for people on lower incomes. Imagine what that does in terms of breaching or, or, or breaking down the digital divide. So affordability is important. But a critical element is imagination and leadership. Now, with some very notable and distinguished exceptions, government generally has not been a leader in adopting digital platforms and using digital technology to affect better engagement with its customers, citizens, uh, both for the, from the point of view of improving the citizens', ex citizens experience and also, of course, reducing costs and, and the, the MyGov application, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, is a very notable exception to that, as, has, as have been some of the innovative applications developed by the Australian Tax Office. A key priority for the Abbott government in 2015 is to implement and accelerate the adoption of our digital uh, productivity and e-government policy, which is determined to transform the way government operates so that all significant transactions, interactions between citizens and the government can be undertaken on digital platforms. And an affordable, uh, completed NBN is going to be a very, very important part of this.